Hey everybody. Hey, it's me, Curtis G. I am taking the road less traveled. <laughs> I'm out in the desert of Arizona. I spent the yesterday and last night with my buddy Tom Lyons and his wife Karen, Dr. Karen. And uh, I don't know, I just love it out here. Um, this this trip across the country has been a pretty good one. I've, I've really fed my soul, fed my temple this week uh, by spending time with Victor Green in Houston and now Hollywood, uh, I call it Tom Hollywood. Uh, I'm on my way to San Diego right now where I'm looking forward to seeing Eddie and Mary Ayub. But I'm not going to visit long. Eddie and Mary, they hold a dear place in my heart. They're the ones that opened California up to me uh, when I was in a kid at work at the A&P in Conyers, Georgia. I met Mary, and I've told this story a lot of times. I'm also going to take a yoga class with Jill uh, at a little place called Indie Yoga. Jill's a, uh, a wonderful teacher, beautiful soul, uh, and I can't wait to see her and be in her class. Um, then I'm going to work my way up the coast, try to get home sometime tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys this beautiful desert. Um, I'm gonna pan. I love these saguaro cactus. They are like, they look like uh, human beings when you look at them. I'm gonna step behind the camera and do a little pan um, so you can see this gorgeous view of the Arizona desert and all the beautiful cactus. I hope the sun flare doesn't show up too, too bright. Look at those beautiful cactus. Aren't they just gorgeous? I, I love driving through here, and I'm take this week. I've taken a couple of, um, I've gone a couple of, um, um, taken a couple of roads that I've never traveled before. This is one of them. I think it's 347 in Arizona. It's going to get me to Highway 8, and then on into San Diego. I'm going to stop in Yuma, and then probably El Centro. Um, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, I love you guys, and I, I know. I don't see a lot of you as much as I'd like to. So this is my way of sharing um, love. And my friend Tony back in Atlantic City, she's the one who kind of inspired me to talk about feeding your temple eternally. She, I guess she had noticed in a couple of videos that I talked about my temple, this body being my temple, and I want it to be the best body for my God, the best temple. And she encouraged me to start doing that. So, Thank you, Tony. Peace. I'm out.